Hey folks, back with another warranty video, uh, this time from Victorinox. In case you're wondering why I'm zoomed in on the Orange Paramilitary 2, it's because I can't stop looking at it, can't stop carrying it, and can't stop using it. It's just a really, really awesome knife. And I've just been having a lot of fun uh, showing it off and carrying it around with me for the last few days, so I hope you can understand. Anyway, let's go ahead and zoom on out and uh, we'll get to the opening of this and this is indeed the uh, package sent to me uh, from Victorinox regarding the zip around wallet which looks just like this one here that you've seen in many of my EDC videos uh, I had a second one of this and the little zipper pull broke off of it that little fella at the end and uh, Sent it into them about 12, 13 days ago, so less than two weeks turnaround time. Not too shabby, if I do say so. And without further ado, let's open it up. Now, I opened the packing list and I couldn't really decipher what they were saying exactly was in here, if it was a repair or a replacement or what. So uh, we're going to find out together here precisely what it is that they've, that they've sent. And let's see what we got here. And this is kind of what I was secretly hoping for, but wasn't sure they were actually going to send. This is the version 3.0 of the Zip Around Wallet. This is the new one. And uh, yes, I was kind of uh, secretly wishing that they would send me the latest version as a replacement, and it would seem that they have. When I was uh, picking up the package, the mailman just dropped it off a little while ago, and when I picked it up, it felt a little bit different, and I was kind of comparing it uh, to the 2.0, and if it seemed, I was thinking either it's wrapped in something, or it has some sort of cardboard backing, or something's going on to where it's different, and uh, indeed, it is, so this will be kind of interesting. Right off the bat, I'm going to say... Uh, thank you to Victorinox if you folks are watching. Uh, even if you're not, I want to let everyone know. Uh, Victorinox has been awesome about this. Uh, the wallet that I sent back to them, I had owned for years. And a lot of their products come with a lifetime warranty or lifetime guarantee. And the Zip Around Wallet 2.0, to the best of my recollection, was one of those products. So I had purchased it, carried it for years. Uh, that zipper broke off. I was without a wallet for just a short while. And then I actually bought another one. This second one is actually used. And I bought this one locally uh, for very, very little. I think it was like a dollar, uh, which was nice because the first one I bought, the, the brand new one was like $35 or $40. So that was kind of cool to find uh, the perfect replacement, you know, so soon after having broken the other one. And, well, I don't want to say it broke. I just want to say, you know, it, worn, it had worn out over time. And uh, so that's really, you know, amazing service that just sending in the other one, worn and carried for years, you know, all I had to do was contact them. They sent me uh, an RA number or RMA, whatever it's called, the little number that they send you, you know, return authorization. Uh, filled out a quick little form, threw it in an envelope, you know, sealed it, printed out a shipping label, and uh, sent it on back to my, I, if I recall, I did pay for shipping, uh, just like Kershaw. The, the return I did to Kershaw, which is no big deal. You know, I think it was like a dollar eighty or two dollars or something to send it back to them first class. And they said turnaround time was going to be uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty five. I think they said twenty five to thirty days. And this was a little less than two weeks that they actually took to get this back to me. Maybe if it had been a repair on a larger item, that longer wait time would have applied. But I'm not going to complain. That was excellent. So. They were very attentive through email. I didn't contact them over the phone, but I did talk to them through email, and they were uh, very courteous, and they kind of kept me informed the whole, you know, each little step of the way. It, I was never confused as to what was going on during the return. So based on all the information they gave me, I followed their directions, sent the item back quick and easy, and uh, I haven't heard anything from them until this package came in today, but like I said, it's been like 13 days, and here it is. So uh, excellent turnaround time. Excellent service. I mean, what more can you possibly ask for than to receive, you know, a, a new replacement of the item? And then even more so to get the newer version. So, it, you know, if they had old stock of the old one kicking around, I assume they would have given me that. But if they didn't, they also could have said, you know, we don't feel like fixing it or, you know, whatever. It, you know, it's you're kind of at their mercy with these companies when you send something off to them. So 
uh, for them to do something as kind as this is, is uh, speaks volumes for their company and really says that they're looking out for the customer. So this is another warranty thumbs up video. You know, first a couple days ago we had the Kershaw video where I sent in the Vapor 2 and they took care of that and now Victorinox just coming in and, and really taking care of things and showing me that they do want my business and they'll get it. They've had it for years and they'll get it for years to come. So um, we'll kind of turn this into a checking out the, the uh, contents unboxing kind of video. See Victorinox zip around wallet makers of the original Swiss Army knife and it is suspended on these two little loops. Now when I bought my first uh, zip around wallet 2.0. I wasn't really sure what those were. I kind of thought they were just to hang the package from in the store. And I'm not, I'm still not entirely convinced as to their functionality, but I have uh, read since then people using these to connect a lanyard to. So you could actually use a wallet chain or, uh, you know, put some paracord with some sort of a little attachment at the end. And so, you know, that's a nice little option. And on my previous wallet, I did, I decided not to do that. And so there used to be those little loops on here. You can actually, there we go, if it'll focus in. Uh, you can see I cut those loops off because I didn't really have any use for hanging any uh, chain or cord from the wallet. I used to wear a wallet chain, but not anymore. So I cut them off. They were a little bit in the way. And on the back here, let's see, large pocket stores most sizes of currency, dedicated card slots, and micro mesh ID slot, which is very similar to the previous one. Lifetime warranty. And it gives you a little bit of info there on their website. And this one has an MSRP of $30. So I'm not really sure what the retail price is for this version. I would imagine it's a little bit cheaper than that if you actually went to a store or if you went online and bought it, it'd probably be a little bit less than $30, but maybe not. So Let's see, how do these come off? Those just kind of pop open. That's nice, no crazy packaging to tear apart. And that little card comes off and then these little guys just slip out of the loops. And we'll take off that second one and then we'll open the wallet up and we'll compare it. Now something I am going to confess, I sort of don't like about this right away, and some of you can probably guess if you've seen my EDC videos, uh, it's taller. And let's see, it's about, it's almost the exact same width. If anything, I'd say it's just a, just a fuzz slimmer from left to right. It might just be because it hasn't flattened out yet. That's probably the case. So they're probably identical in width, but uh, it is, gosh, what would I say that is? That's probably about, you know, a little over a quarter of an inch taller. And a lot of you are probably rolling your eyes and saying, who cares? But um, I'm kind of particular about the the size, the bulk of the items I carry, so that uh, that might affect if or how much it gets used, but we'll see. And then here we have the interior. Let me make sure I've got that unzipped all the way. It's pretty. It's got a pretty stiff uh, opening, and this actually has some sort of a plastic. I would imagine there's some thin sheets of plastic in there, so it's it's uh, got some sort of a backing to it to keep it sort of uh, stiff rather than being it is still pretty flexible but it's reinforced and the old one as you can see here is not reinforced at all it's completely flexible there's nothing holding it in place while this one seems pretty rigid uh, which is something I also just you know right off the bat just looking at it I don't really care for uh, we've got one of those little silica gel little uh, preservative packets in there and then this little piece right here is the same on the old one. They put their little card in there. And it's also got their, their little insignia on it. Um, this is to hold your ID. So you'll, and the, the old one used to have it too. I took it out. <laughs> and you can guess why. I took it out to lighten it and to make it slimmer. Uh, but you slide your ID into that little, little piece and then that slips in there. So that is the same size. It looks to be identical to the old one. And then obviously you put your bills in the back here. And what do we got here? Victorinox zipper and wallet. And this looks like maybe a little bit of a, I don't know what that, what do we got here? French, German, Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, Chinese, uh, hmm, something, Korean, duh, sorry. And no English? Maybe it just says what's on the back of the package. Did I, did I miss the English part? No. So, I don't know what that is. 
<laughs> maybe it's just a little description of the wallet or what's in there, but uh, pretty similar to the previous one. Uh, let's hold them both open. They've still both got, and these are black, so it might be kind of hard to see on camera. I think they'll come out. Uh, one, two, three slots for business cards or credit cards in the front, and then behind each of these uh, pockets in the front is a second pocket, so you can put more business cards or credit cards back there and the same on this side. So not a whole lot to it, uh, pretty basic design, pretty basic construction. I do like the feel of it overall and I see what's kind of interesting, especially considering why I returned my previous wallet. Uh, you see on the old one it had this sort of a thick uh, zipper pull on the end of it made out of rubber and uh, that's just very weakly attached on there and I say weakly because you know th that previous one came off and I can tell this one's flimsy and eventually this one will come off as well this will probably wear and break over time and you can see that on the newer version they've replaced that with just you know one solid metal piece one single metal zipper so that maybe will remedy that and prevent that problem from happening again I imagine that's probably why they went with that and I'm not really sure what this weird little, obviously there's this little thing at the front, but it doesn't seem to be a pocket. I guess it's just a little stylized something or other. So who the heck knows what that's about. Uh, but like I was saying before, it, it is rigid and it seems uh, strong. It seems like this is uh, going to hold up to years of carry as long as the zipper lasts and the zipper mechanism you know all around doesn't get stuck I imagine this wallet would last someone several years before requiring replacement and uh, it those little loops if you do have need for a wallet chain or a uh, you know a little paracord lanyard something on there to make it easier to grab out of your pocket or something to retain it from coming away from your person uh, those would come in handy as well so this probably should stand as a review as well um, you know, I, as far as carrying it, I, I don't think there's too many surprises to be to be found. But uh, there you go, the old one and the new one. Haven't decided if I'm going to carry this. So I do still have the other one that works. I was I wasn't expecting it to be a different size, and I also wasn't expecting it to be reinforced how it is with whatever it's got backing it in there. So those are sort of a downside for me. So. At this point, I haven't decided if I will carry that newer wallet or maybe I'll just put it aside or, you know, maybe I'll trade it or something. But uh, all in all, it was still, you know, a, a good opportunity, a good exercise uh, in, in checking out Victorinox's warranty and seeing how they decide to take care of customers. And again, I'll say that, you know, they uh, went above and beyond they did a great job. I'm really impressed with how quickly they took care of the issue. And um, the the solution that they chose, I think, is excellent. I think most people, almost everyone, will be very pleased to go through that sort of a process and, and get that sort of service and that sort of you know excellent treatment. So there you have it. There's a little uh, info on Victorinox's warranty and how their warranty department uh, you know looks out for customers and is helping them out. And it's also sort of a little overview slash review of the Victorinox Zip Around Wallet 3.0. So if any of you were interested in that wallet, hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight into how it functions. And I know I didn't give you the full specs. Maybe I'll add those in the description. But uh, there you go. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you folks soon. Bye.